Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this video playing CMRST 2003. Who the heck is that? No name. Okay. So what is he up to? King's Indian or Grunfeld. So a King's Indian. Yeah, the Petrosian system. That's uh, an interesting line. That is um, somewhat surprisingly, um, I think, seldom played. It's not not bad at all. So let's see if I can directly play for a queenside expansion. So B3. Here, my opponent somehow did not go for um, h6 early on, so that, what? What the heck? What, where, where is the trick? There is no trick, <laughs> okay. He just uh, has uh, ruined his queen side. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, a4 is just a deadly weakness. My plan is okay, thanks. I would have done that anyway. And now c5, and this is a winning position for white. That's remarkable. Okay, so let's not celebrate too early, even though white is winning now after c6. Hmm. He might have f4. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to play f3 and uh, give me that square on f2. The reason why white is winning here is the, is the idea c6. c6, pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, b5, winning a piece. And there is no decent way for him to, uh, to, to handle this. Yeah, As we see, what? You, you don't even want to, to fight or what? I don't, I don't really get this game. At least bishop c8 or something. What's going on? <laughs> That's weird. Black resigns. That was strange. Yeah, that's kind of the, the Petrosian system. Uh, if uh, black uh, completely misplays it, then it looks like this, which is quite often the case in the King's Indian. This is one of those openings that really, um, yeah, that looks terrible if, if it's played uh, played badly. Um, here we have a couple of things. I actually believe that um, black should start h6 here to make sure that white is dropping back here. The, the thing to understand is that the setup with bishop on e3, like here, and the knight on d2 is white's ideal setup against the king's Indian. If you can get this in, you're in perfect shape, especially if you have not castled. Yeah, This is the, the perfect scenario. Bishop e3, knight on d2 is fantastic if you have not castled. This is something that is often witnessed in this line Knight c6 is a mistake, and now white gets this in. Here, white is, I know it sounds harsh, almost winning, because he's not moving the king ever, he just stays here, and he's got b4, c5, the automatic attack, and there's no counter attack for black, because the king is not even on the king's side. And, well, in the game, I played this very quickly, so that on h6 I can drop back to e3, getting this scenario. And the weird thing was, that he played this move, which I already kind of questioned, but okay, that he played this, which is extremely strange. Yeah. Funny is that after rook b1, the engine wants to play this move and thinks black is okay. That's really quite amazing. It's a funny tactic. Yeah, it wants to play here. Check. Because Check. in this situation, there are two pieces hanging. <laughs> funny. 
So that indicates that rook b1 maybe wasn't the best move in this position. And I should castle. Yeah, yeah well, this, this is fantastic for white. Yeah? The engine just gives 0 0.7, which is not really doing it justice. Yeah, I have rook b1, bishop e3, b4, and it's an automatic attack on the queen side. Yeah, but a a4, this is just this is just lost, I think. Nothing more, nothing less. The, the the queen side is going to fall, and yeah, the computer is kind of agreeing. Yeah, here you can play c6 maybe immediately, or I wasn't sure about this situation here, but okay, this is winning also. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, but you have, it really doesn't matter. The situation is so bad on, on this side of the board. Yeah, I thought he would even, he would at least play the bishop somewhere. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't help, but uh, this was kind of uh, a bit too simple. Yeah, so King's Indian Petrosian is one of the lines that black needs to have some ant antidote, otherwise, it might happen uh, that you lose like this. Okay, thanks for watching.